Hey guys, this is Persephone and this is a video for the Hermit Tarot channel on my YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. This video is going to be dedicated to Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles, I'm going to do a quick reading on her. Now, just a disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, I do not have any personal dealings with Jenna or YouTube or anyone on her team. This is just a general reading for her. Now, I do want to express that I do not believe in cancel culture. I do not believe in um, bullying people off the internet. And I definitely um, am a fan of Jenna Marbles. I've been watching Jenna Marbles for a long time. So if this reading sounds a little biased, then maybe it is. Um, I definitely do love her content. Um, but this is just a free general reading for Jenna Marbles. I'm going to go ahead and throw her picture up. Okay. Jenna, I see that you're walking away. You're walking away from a happy, a happy-go-lucky kind of feeling because you've been feeling like lately things have not been balanced between you and what you're feeling with your audience. I definitely feel that this has been something that's been coming for a very long time. It's slow, but it's been something that you've been thinking about for a very long time. The chariot reverse means that it's changed, but it's changed that's been coming very slow. The temperance reverse means that there's been an imbalance or an influctuation of what's happening. Um, the four of wands means that something about a happy home, the ide idealistic theory of what she thought was going to be her career is no longer something that she thinks is going to happen. And the six of ones means that someone is going forward, moving towards, moving towards success, moving towards happiness. But right now she's reached kind of like a dead, a dead end. The star reverse usually indicates someone that usually had um, expectations of being a, somewhat of a star, someone who is interested in a lot of creative freedom. But right now, it just feels like she's in a rut. I definitely feel that there's someone... Um, now, I know that a lot of people have been indicating that Jenna has been specifically not asked to come out, but that's not true. Jenna Marbles actually did this as a strategic way to get ahead of things because believe it or not she's actually being advised by her management that this was coming this was something that's actually been in the works she doesn't necessarily have a squeaky clean past but she doesn't have a lot of things necessarily problematic like maybe other influencers do but remember Jenna Marbles was actually a dancer. She was a go-go dancer in New York City. And I have a feeling like something has just been telling me that something from her past, whether it has to do something with an ex-lover or something in the club, like I, I have a very big indicator that Jenna actually has something on video. And it has nothing to do with mm, her like maybe saying saying something politically incorrect i have a feeling that she has an intimate moment that she does not want to be shared but someone's threatening to share that um another thing is that i see a lot of jealousy a lot of um a lot of uh, public ridicule i see a lot of people the eight of wands means that there has been messages that be, are being sent, but they're being sent right back to that, right? So what does this mean? The five of ones means a lot of problems. A lot of, a lot of people are just not on the same page when it comes to her team. And a lot of things like the justice reverse, the 10 of cups reverse, is something that indicates that people were questioning and they were actually threatening her with legal action. And she vice versa. They, this is something very problematic. I see that at first the person who's actually been threatening her is someone that's younger than her someone that she's known for a while from her childhood not necessarily childhood meaning 13 14 but someone that she know she knew before she was an influencer and they're threatening to chop everything down that she has worked for the three of cups means that this was someone that she had a close relationship with and the ace of ones the ace of ones 
um, straight up usually means this is my dick card, right? This is my sex card. This is someone who she had a romantic relationship. This is a man. This is a man who's threatening her um, that she had a partnership with. This is someone who's actually, this is a male energy who's been threatening her um, to release this intimate video of her. The Six of Cups indicates someone that with someone who was making them, themselves look at, oh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you with your career. I'm going to help you start. I'm going to help you get there. I'm going to give you um, stardom. I'm going to give you freedom. And the 10 of ones reverse usually means someone that released responsibility, someone who was lazy, someone who wasn't honest, wasn't transparent, someone who wasn't forthcoming with their information that she, that they were representing to Jenna. Um, after a while, she woke up. She woke up. She got out of what, because financially, she actually had a, a contract with this person. And this was a person that she actually was romantically linked with. Um, she fought. She was defensive. She saw that he was full of shit. She saw that he was not being honest exactly with what he was saying, what he was doing. Um, and she got out of it. She had to buy herself out of her contract. Or something happened where she had to pay him off. And look, the two of cups reverse means that the partnership broke up. And he tried to come back and he's been trying to come back repeatedly. Um, even though she's in a relationship right now with Julian, I feel like she thought she left on good terms and not necessarily good terms, but she knew that um, there wasn't anything that technically was holding her back legally with this partner, right? He didn't have anything on her, but he's been actually very insist consistent with proposing to her like, kind of like trying to seduce her and think that, you know, oh no, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not as bad as you thought. I'm not as, I'm not the person that you once thought I was, but he's full of shit. He's full of shit. The Ace of Cups means an apology. The Page of Wands means someone who has evil intentions. This is reversed. So that means that someone who's very cocky, someone who is very boisterous, someone who um, is very arrogant, has evil intentions. The Ace of Cups, that means that the apology that happened between them was actually not sincere. I see that this was somebody that she dated during the time that she was actually dating Julian and she made a choice. She had to make a decision and we all saw who she chose. She chose to have a stable relationship finally with Julian. Um, I know that she was actually with another partner. Um, again, I have been watching Jenna, but only for the last five years. Um, so I'm not sure if this is someone that we are, we as fans are familiar with, but it was someone that felt very bored, very in her shadow. The King of Cups in tells me that it was a masculine energy, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, that was actually someone she needed to choose. And she made a decision that she, she didn't, she no longer felt like she was safe with this person. She got out of that agreement. He was stealing from her. He was stealing from her. He wasn't telling her exactly what needed to be done. And her parents even warned her. Her parents actually had to be had to step into this situation too. I wouldn't be surprised if something else comes out um, as far as um, documentation, videos. I have a feeling that she's trying to get everything under control um, because she is friends with Shane Dawson. I don't believe that she's friends with Jeffree Star. I think that they might have had some sort of communication, but she's, she's very intuitive um, as far as who she should and should not be speaking to. Um, I see that there's a lot of earth like surrounding her, a lot of uh, feminine energy that is surrounding her, protecting her. I wouldn't be surprised if her lawyer is a female. I wouldn't be surprised if her manager is a female. I don't have any idea if, he, if that person is. Um, but there's a lot of feminine energy that is advising her, letting her know, look at, look at Julian. Julian's there. Um, another thing that I do, this is not and has not, because at first I thought that it might have been someone from Julian's past that was actually threatening Julian and Jenna. Because if you, I have a feeling that Julian is going to step down soon, but he originally didn't think that. I feel like they also have been thinking about maturing their content, making their content more 
more adult like um they've been requested to just kind of change with the times and at first i had a feeling that it was someone from julian's past like maybe an ex-girlfriend of his that wanted to come and kind of spice things i mean not spice things up but kind of threaten their stability um i thought also too that maybe julian might have been caught doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing like maybe having some sort of communication with a fan or some sort of communication with a woman but that's not the case the cards are telling me that that is not it it has nothing to do with julian's past julian's actually stepping up and protecting uh jenna and he's the one that's kind of advising her listen whatever you decide to do this is what we're going to do and we'll do it together it's not going to be that i'm see secrets are coming out secrets are coming up about a situation that the queen of cups is usually a motherly a psychic someone who has been mentoring it's it's a lot of feminine energy including um the aries sign which is um the emperor which is julian they're defending her they're defending her because someone is threatening to have secrets intimate details of, Ju of jenna marbles revealed now i'm not saying this is all for entertainment entertainment purposes um i know that i'm giving like a very specific storyline but again I do feel that this has to do with this has to do with someone who's who was intimately involved with Jenna. See, I keep getting three of cups, three of cups, three of cups, three of cups, three of pentacles. Um, everything with three, everything with three, and it's just like it has to be that someone she was romantically and emotionally involved with. This is not a friend. This is not someone platonic. This is not like I, I have a feeling that she was like some someone involved like in the past with a boss. Uh, someone who she like maybe had business with and then they had like a romantic situation um again this is all entertainment purposes only uh let's see here let me pull this change i'm hoping that jenna marbles has a baby i'm really hoping that they kind of take this time they get married they you know i i'm hoping that they false person there was somebody in her in her realm that was kind of offering her a change there was someone who was trying to make a business deal with her and she didn't accept she didn't accept i have a feeling too and don't quote me that on this i have a feeling that there was someone who um who's in trouble right now i'm not going to mention specifically who but there was someone there's someone who is an influencer who was in trouble right now and they were actually warning jenna because they originally had plans to make some sort of business venture with her and, and she didn't accept she definitely didn't accept yeah it was somebody that was offering her some sort of money move some sort of contract and oh, thank god she didn't take it thank god she didn't take that yeah thought it was somebody that was that was promising her something that they knew they weren't going to they, they weren't going to fulfill their end of the bargain. Um, let's do another reading here. I'm really hoping that Jenna has a baby. Um, I've been thinking of her like having another baby. Excuse me, having a baby. Um, she's never talked about like fertility issues. I don't see that there are fertility issues with them. I just see that right now they both are kind of in a very selfish space. I'm talking about Jenna Marbles and Julian. Um, but I, I really hope, and this is just selfish reasoning, I really would love to see them have a baby just because I just see that she's very motherly and nurturing. And I see that Julian really is in love with Jenna. Like he just feels so safe and he's able to be himself and not feel um, rejected. <laughs> Look, as, as I said that the baby card wanted to pop out, but I'm not gonna take it. Um, because like I said, it's just for selfish reasons that I would love for, for them to have a baby. Um, let me see what kind of is in store for Jenna. Let me know what's in store for Jenna Marbles, Jenna Marbles. And she's not returning. She's not returning to YouTube right now. I, I, I don't even need to pull the card to see that. She's not, she's not coming back right now. Someone was threatening someone was threatening the, the stability of her finances i i see that there's something that was look a baby again i've never heard of infertility issues with her it, it's indicating that there's so, sort of there's some sort of difficulty having a baby it also could be that 
Julia, uh, excuse me, Julian and Jenna had an had an idea of maybe creating something um, of their own, like a, their own network, their own sort of platform, um, something similar to YouTube and Twitch, but very small, obviously. But unfortunately, the person that was looking to help them was not being honest, and they just the the idea died the idea died because the person was being look a ladron that means that somebody was promising um very huge profits benefits um offering like opportunities that just were not truthful she was she was definitely um having a lot of hopes having very positive thoughts about moving forward she was very loyal to the idea but unfortunately this just was not coming through the person that she the person that she originally was trusting and it shows a male figure Nemigo means like an enemy someone who um is not trustworthy someone who is dishonest someone who is not stable <coughs> um it shows that she just did not trust she she was loyal to the idea but unfortunately this person just was promising things that they could not fulfill yeah she was devastated after she got the news and I wonder, Jen, if Jenna's moving. Because she invested a lot in that house. And I see that even a lot of... I see this is her mother. I wonder if her mother is sick. Or I wonder if they've been threatening the stability of her mother. Or they've been threatening some sort of um, um, financial status with her mother. And that's why another reason why she felt like she needed to step down. Because she needs to take care of family business. Because... In her video, she mentions that um, some people that were fans of hers are calling for her to be responsible and take accountability for old videos. Um, this shocked me because I never thought and I never even saw those tweets. But honestly, I see that this was more strategic on her end. I see that this was planned. I see that she wanted to get ahead of the trend before um, people went ahead and just ruined her career. But I also see that someone is behind the scenes, a male energy that has been threatening her to release intimate information about her intimate information and again this is all entertainment purposes <coughs> and this is all alleged um someone is threatening to release information about her or her family just intimate in intimate situation and, and and information and that's what caused her to kind of get ahead of everything Let me do a, a final reading for her. What does Jenna Marbles have in store? What does Spirit have in store for Jenna Marbles? Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles, what does... What's in store for Jenna Marbles right now? Today is June, I believe 29th, if I'm not mistaken. The devil reversed. The emperor, again, Aries. I wonder if something was coming up with, with Julian. Someone was threatening information about Julian. No, but the cards indicated that it wasn't a romantic thing. It was something about maybe a previous the three of cups cup up. The magician. There we go again with communication. There's communication from a third party. But this is what's coming up for her. The six of cups, the magician, and the three of cups. She's going to have a baby. She's going to have a baby. If you do not believe me, believe this. Jenna Marbles, allegedly, of course, for entertainment purposes only. Jenna, I see that you're going to have a baby. And I'm going to take this card very literal. You're going to have two boys. Two boys. Jenna, I see that you're going to have a very happy future. You're going to have a very happy ending, happy relationship, happy marriage with Aries, which is your emperor, which is Julian. Um, I see that there's going to be uh, a very, very committed relationship between you guys. I do definitely see, um, I see that a lot of your problems are going to end. The only thing that's really concerning me is that the emperor and the empress are reversed. 
Um, usually these cards, I these specific, this specific deck, I don't read it reverse. But again, I just want to take all the information that I'm downloading and I'm just kind of um, processing in my mind that I see that there's going to be a little bit of a struggle here, a little bit of... Um, Again, I never particularly felt that you had fertility issues. You specifically, I don't know if Julian's the one that has um, fertility issues for some reason, but you will get your baby. You will get your babies. You will have two boys. Um, it will be, imagine um, her babies end up being Leo's in the month of August. She announces that she has a pregnancy. I see that Jenna Marbles will come out of hiding. She will come out of this um this issue that she's having with her audience and connecting with her audience um but i definitely see that she's going to have an increase of, in her family she's going to be expanding her family she will get out of this legal matters um because i do see that there's someone that's threatening with legal legal um they're they're threatening to do something legally but that's that's never going to come into fruition jenna you're going to be okay Jenna Marbles, we, we haven't seen the end of Jenna Marbles, but we won't definitely see Jenna Marbles like we did before, which is on YouTube and making the content than she is. I definitely see her in a different platform. She's definitely going to be someone who's going to be creating, I think, from now on, something a little bit more family-oriented. And I see, I think that she's going to give us an insight of her intimate, an intimate mm, view of her life. And I definitely see that she is going to have a baby. And remember, you heard this here first two boys i guarantee two boys with jenna marbles all right jenna i really hope um a lot of love strength and just mental stability is headed your way i'm sending nothing but prayer and love to you i am a big huge jenna marbles fan i do hope that she gets the love respect and peace that she's required requiring at this point um we love you very much jenna marbles we do hope that we you return on youtube but if you don't we definitely respect your decision not to come again this is persephone this has been another video for the hermit tarot channel on youtube remember all readings are entertained for entertainment purposes i do hope you enjoy the rest of the year and i will see you guys soon